The Medical City, the largest healthcare network in the Philippines, is composed of one flagship complex, four provincial hospitals, and over 50 clinics in Metro Manila and in select provinces in the Philippines. It has been conferred accreditation by the Joint Commission International for attaining and maintaining the highest standards of quality for healthcare organizations. The Medical City's world-class facility is the staging area for the delivery of cutting-edge healthcare services. The Medical City's Department of Laboratory Medicine and Pathology specializes in the detection, diagnosis, and monitoring of various diseases and medical conditions. It is responsible for analyzing various types of specimens, providing essential information to healthcare providers to help them make informed decisions about patient care. The department aims to be a leader in diagnostic innovation, known for its excellence in delivering its services. It commits to contribute to the advancement of pathology, transfusion medicine, and laboratory medicine through translational research and transformative training. One of the highlights of the Department of Laboratory Medicine and Pathology is the section of molecular diagnostics. It offers a wide range of nucleic acid amplification tests for infectious diseases diagnosis using conventional or plate-based RT-PCR, cartridge-based RT-PCR, film array, and transcription-mediated amplification. This section also performs different mutation assays for solid tumors and hematologic disease, as well as HLA typing for transplant of solid organs. One of the latest acquisitions of the Department of Laboratory Medicine and Pathology is the Rotem Sigma. It is an easy-to-use thromboelastometry system that delivers rapid results to guide bleeding management, reducing inappropriate blood transfusions. It is used to assess critical bleeding situations and provides real-time clinical information, enabling clinicians to optimize homeostasis while minimizing blood loss and blood product exposure. The laboratory receives about 1,000 specimens per day due to the high number of patients in the hospital. But thanks to the recent advancement in technology, wherein automated equipment and computer systems replaced manual methods, the laboratory has increased its capacity to process large volumes of samples efficiently. In the pre-analytic phase, all samples are received in the main receiving area of the laboratory. To ensure that correct identification is performed for each specimen, established procedures on patient identifier and automation are followed via a barcoding system linked with the laboratory information system. Approximately 1,000 samples are received daily coming from both inpatients and outpatients. In the analytic phase, all samples received from the receiving area are delivered to its respective sections and monitored through the laboratory information system to ensure that the correct samples are processed. All the machines and equipment undergo method validation or verification with regular preventive maintenance and calibration schedules. We also perform quality control procedures. In the post-analytic phase, it is ensured that the correct and accurate results are received in a timely manner. In the clinical laboratory, a two-step validation process is followed wherein one medical technologist performs the technical validation while another medical technologist performs clinical validation. Delta checks and review of clinical data from patient charts are also done during this phase. Critical results reporting is also practiced in the laboratory. By far, the laboratory has been consistently achieving 96-98% to compliance at par with international practices. One of the challenges I encountered as a laboratory scientist is to be able to meet the high demand for fast, 
accurate and timely results for our patients and doctors. With a high demand for diagnostics that can aid in the management of our patients, we are always on the lookout for state-of-the-art and advanced tools that we can use to meet these challenges. Although we may not see the patients we serve always, it is through our accurate and timely services that we are best able to help them. It is always a challenge to put into proper perspective each laboratory result, ensuring its accuracy and quality, relating it to the patient's condition, and how it plays to the future management plans for the patient. All of this, of course, delivered in a timely manner. In other words, the daily challenge for me is in making these laboratory values make sense. The Medical City trained me on how to handle both routine and high-stress elements of the job without negatively impacting patients' results. Clinical laboratory experience here in the Medical City helped me accustomed to high-stress moments. This experience enabled me to hone my preparation skills and reflexes to ensure I'm ready for anything. The Medical City has given me opportunities to broaden and deepen my knowledge on the various aspects of the laboratory through its world-class facilities and experienced mentors in the field. We are also encouraged to communicate closely between different members of the healthcare team, a skill that I believe is indispensable as a laboratory manager and as part of the patient's management team. More importantly, I have seen and understand the value of being persistent meticulous and conscientious in our investigations in the best interest of our patients. The role that medical laboratory scientists play in healthcare extends to how doctors read and interpret data, specifically by providing doctors with detailed analysis of test results which has a significant impact on the everyday lives of our patients. Also, during our fight against COVID-19, we were on the front lines ensuring that testing was done quickly and accurately. With this, we young scientists provide patients with more time to begin treatment, make lifestyle changes, and more effectively and proactively combat their illnesses. We young scientists are able to bring fresh new perspectives to tackle the increasingly complex demands of the healthcare field by adapting uh, new technologies and integrating concepts from various fields of study.